introduce you first. I don't know. Fine. It's just polite. At least I don't say you like Harry Marion. Um, <laughs> okay, so today our next one on our muscle series, we're going to do glute max. So I'm going to show you how to <laughs> test, uh, test the strength and stretch it and then how to make it stronger. Yeah, we don't really have a way for you to test if it's tight. Yeah. Unfortunately, we try. We, we yeah. can't come up with anything Nothing. you can do yourself. Yeah. So. And there's a lot of ways to stretch it and strengthen yes. it, so we're just going to show you a couple. Yeah, like our favorite ones. So before we get started, like the video and subscribe so yes. we don't have to remind you later. Yeah, that would be Okay, cool. so uh, real quick on glute, um, the muscle, what it does, it does hip extension, but it's a primary, primarily it's an external rotator for your hip. So um, <laughs> it's your glute. <laughs> yeah. It attaches to the, the sacrum actually and comes around and actually attaches laterally to, to your leg and to the IT band. Okay, so we are going to test um, her glute strength. We're going to keep the leg extended because it puts the hamstring at a disadvantage. Hip extension is done by hamstring and glute, so we're trying to just take the hamstring out the best we can. Okay, so she's going to raise one leg up. Good, and other leg. This one, good, this one. So hers, her legs both go up about the same amount. If for some reason it doesn't, there's so many factors that come into play with that that we don't really have time to go over and really is more of an assessment thing. But um, just for a quick, this is what the glute does and testing the strength for it. Okay, we're gonna show you a few different ways to stretch out your glute max because we have found that not everybody feels one particular way. So even in the clinic, we'll show patients a couple different ways and whatever they feel the most stretch with, that's what they, we have them do at home. So I'm gonna show you the figure four wall stretch, which if you follow us, you've seen it before, mm -hmm. but I really like it. Mm -hmm. Marion doesn't feel it as much. Right. So she's gonna show you just the regular pigeon. Yeah, is that what we're gonna do? Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, baby. So for me, I'm lying down, I'm taking my leg, crossing it over, dropping my butt back down, and then I'm getting a stretch on this left side. And I am in this like figure four on the ground. So for me, if I if my knees down or if my foot is down here, I don't feel anything. But for some people, you might feel something like that. So if you don't and you want to try a different position, so I feel mine more when it's externally rotated and flexed, I can actually start feeling my glute stretch. So I kind of like to sit here and let the weight of my body kind of push that down. And then as I feel ready, then I just kind of come down to the ground. Now with mine, I feel a pretty good stretch here. If I wanted it to be more intense, I could push on my thigh, not on the knee joint, or my right foot here, I could go up on my toes and that's gonna give me more intense of a stretch, but I wanna make sure my butt doesn't come off the floor because then I'm gonna lose the stretch, so I have to keep that butt down. And these are stretches you should hold. Yeah, for sure. You know, like these are not quick minutes. stretches, yeah. yeah. Um, or something else I was gonna say. Oh, and this might be even sometimes a good assessment for me, like I'll feel one hip is tighter than the other, which mm -hmm. could be the mm -hmm. joint itself or it could be the glute. So. Um, right. But it's just another way to kind of add to your assessment that you're doing on yourself. You know something I just thought of when yeah. we're talking about it? Because I see this more with patients in the clinic, and it's going to generally be more older patients. Mm -hmm. But if you notice that when you're sitting and you go to put your shoe or sock on and you oh, can't yeah. bring your leg up like this, like let's say you can bring the right one up, but the left one, you can't cross the ankle over. Yeah. I mean, patients say that a lot. Yeah. That could be tightness in your glute. Could be other things going on in the hip, but that could kind of be a quick little assessment yeah, too. That's true, good point. All right, so we're gonna show you another stretch in standing. Yeah. Okay, so here's the, it's basically what we did on the ground and on the wall, but now on the table. This is both of our favorite ones for the glute. Um, just taking that hip into external rotation and flexion. And um, you should feel a pretty good stretch here. Yeah, yeah. And then you just want to rock forward in the pelvis, not the spine. Yeah. You can bring that back leg into more of like almost like a lunge position. And that was, I mean, and I already feel much more of a stretch yeah. here. So, you know, use a bed or a table or something. The counter, um, right? Use the counter. Yeah. Oh, I guess it depends on your right and right flexibility. But then flex. you just go into more of a lunge if you yeah. can, if it's uh, lower, let's say. And I can't yes. like to do like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like we did the top 
fiber to turn my side. Yeah. 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 And like to kind of yeah. turn yeah. sideways until I find a spot. Yeah. And then just hang out there. Yeah. This is definitely our favorite. But not everybody can get their leg up like this. That's true. So that's why there have to be other ways. But if you can do this, do this one. Yeah. True. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to show you ways to strengthen your glutes. Um, so lunge for Carrie and step ups for me. So. Are we doing it separately? Oh, we're doing it separately? Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to let you keep talking. Okay. So a couple different ways. Um, uh, lateral lunging and frontwards lunging. Or step ups. Okay. Maybe both. So what you want to make sure with this is that same thing, that those that pelvis stays level and you're not doing, I don't know if I can make it do it here, but something like this. Like this hip drops down when you go to step up. Or what happens is this knee caves in, which we don't want. So knee stays tracked over your foot, and then you step up. If you want to progress it, you make the step higher, or you add weight. And then so for Carrie, I'm she, lunging with a weight. Yeah, <laughs> that's weight pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and she's staying lined up. Notice that her knee isn't going past her toes or anything like that. She's staying tracked. Um, over her foot and not coming in or out. Over and you can do lunges like I just was, just up and down, or I also like doing alternating mm -hmm. lunges too. Or walking lunges. Right. Reverse lunges. Curtsy, which we won't go into. Many ways. Yeah, many ways. Um, all right, we'll just show one more. Okay, so the last exercise we're going to show you are frog bridges where the hips will actually be in external rotation. So we're going to lie flat. Feet flat on the ground, let the legs fall out so the feet, bottoms of the feet come together, and then we're just gonna bridge up. We're really squeezing those glutes. This is a good one where you can kind of hold it at the top for a little bit and then slowly come back down. And then Marion's gonna show you another way. Let's do the opposite just to get different fibers, which I tend to feel this more. Like more like sacrum attachment. Okay. For the boots. Okay. You want me to keep going? <laughs> nope, that's good. Okay. So then, as always, you can go back and retest um, the hip extension like we showed in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it for the glutes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See you later. <laughs>